Hey everyone, welcome to Underground Comic Review. My name is Sean, and today I will be reviewing Stick Boy number one, FTW. Stick Boy was created by Dennis Warden, and this issue was released in 1988 by Fantagraphics Books. I really like the cover of this issue. I don't know if it's a simple colors and design or that fantastic uh, image of the rotting world, but it really spoke to me, and I believe I got it for three dollars, so that was a really good steal. I picked it up at a convention, a uh, local convention in town. The back cover is an advertisement for other Fantagraphics books. In fact, one of my favorite artists is featured on the back, Kim Deitch. The book starts out with Stick Boy explaining to us that he just got fired from his last job for stealing a Xerox machine, despite the fact that he had a good use for it. After that, he goes on a harrowing job search to find a good job, but he comes up short and ends up with a job at a pizza joint, where is a teenage boss that rides his ass all day. After a while of his pizza job, Stick Boy becomes so depressed that he decides to leave society altogether and drop out and become homeless. Now that Stick Boy is officially homeless, he finds himself doing a lot of thinking. He has nothing else to do, so that's what his spare time consists of. Now while thinking, he starts to wonder what keeps his atoms together and thinks maybe it's what religion is about, keeping people's atoms together, and that's what God does. So, he decides to go to a New Age bookstore and finds the least cheesiest book there. He ends up buying it, and it's about a cult leader named the Shmoo. The Great Shmoo, I believe. After a series of strange coincidences, Stick Boy finds himself at the Great Shmoo compound. And he realizes that the Great Shmoo can read his mind. When he realizes that, he decides to stick around and help out what he can, because he has nothing better to do. He was homeless, and now if somebody can read his mind, he might as well follow him. And he's pretty pretty freaked out that he ends up being a cult member, and he, he's aware of it, actually. It's pretty funny. After a while, Stick Boy gets a message that the Great Shmoo has asked him to leave. He doesn't quite understand it, and he's pretty pissed off. But on the way out, this girl says, get in, I'll give you a ride. When he gets in, she tells him that she has a $2 million trust fund, and that she's going to have sex with him. Once hearing this, Stick Boy knows that the creator will never have this happen to him, that he'll never be able to get this good of an ending. So he knows there has to be a catch. And there is. As soon as they go over a hill, he sees an atomic bomb drop. After the atomic bomb drops, everyone dies except for Stick Boy, which puts even more depression and loneliness into his already cynical life. Well, that's pretty much the end of the story. A little bit more, but I won't ruin it for you. Also, there's a little bit of a twist at the end. All in all, it's a great book. I'd definitely say if you see it at a convention or a comic book shop to pick it up. And yeah, that's it. Stick Boy, FTW. Thanks for watching, and uh, if you like what you see, I have other videos like this. I'll probably put one there, there, and probably subscribe there if you want to. Uh, I would enjoy it quite a bit. Uh, please like, comment, and like I said, subscribe. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.